வணக்கம் ஐ எம் கிளாட் டு வெல்கம் யூ டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் எஸ்ஏபி எஸ் ஃபார் ஹானா ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு தேங்க் ஆல் வியூவர்ஸ் ஃபார் யுவர் கிரேட் சப்போர்ட் டு த கோர்ஸ் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் திஸ் சேனல் வித் த எனர்ஜி கெயின்ட் ஃப்ரம் தட் சப்போர்ட் ஐ ஆம் ஸ்டார்டிங் திஸ் நியூ கோர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் செஷன் ஐ வில் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் த கண்டென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் ஹவு த கோர்ஸ் இஸ் அரேஞ்ச்ட் அண்ட் ஹூ ஆல் can gain from this course first let me introduce myself i am shanmugam satyamurthy you can address me as satya i am working as principal consultant in supply chain management and sap in my firm we grow in training and consulting which i founded in april 2019 i am also an apix recognized instructor for the supply chain courses certified supply chain professional cscp certified in logistics transportation and distribution cltd and a supply chain operations reference professional scorp i have 13 years of experience in manufacturing and production planning and control of fast moving consumer goods and then i moved to sap world where i have worked as sap pp mm qm consultant for 8 years and also i worked as a delivery manager after that again i moved to operations where i worked for 7 years which was managing entire operations including supply chain management and manufacturing and then since april 2019 for 3 and 1/2 years i am working as a freelance consultant in sap and supply chain management for both training and consulting during my career i kept studying and also learning a lot mainly focusing on supply chain because if you know the business process only we can apply the knowledge of sap in the business so i got certified in cscp i got certified in cltd i got certified in scorp and then i did demand driven planning professional ddpp course and then demand driven planning leader ddlp course now let me brief about this course this course focus more on materials management module through s4 hana in 2019 version this course will be published in english and tamil there will be contents already discussed in sap pp course in this channel that are repeated here also the purpose is for listeners who will watch exclusively mm course these topics are repeated to ensure the continuity of the subject at the same time even if you had gone through the contents while learning sap production planning it is suggested to go through them again during this mm learning more than just hearing and seeing the session listeners are strongly suggested to practice the learning whatever you are getting here because success of becoming sap user the key user or power user and also becoming as sap consultant is nothing but practice 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 let us go through the contents what will be covered in this course and what is the flow of these contents we will start with introduction like what is erp what is sap and then we will also explain how to navigate into sap and what is the impact of sap into business processes we will introduce materials management what is materials management what is a general procurement cycle and then we move to the fundamentals of materials management where we will discuss what is the organization structure defined for materials management what are all the master data required and we will discuss some business case because if you have to learn means you have to build up a business case it may be related to your products what you are working in a, in a current organization or you can imagine something for example you can have basically one gearbox or you can imagine one car like that you have some imagination and then put some parts and other things i will give you an example of how the business case is built so that you can also build a business case accordingly and then that will be useful for you to practice the sessions then we will start with the master data the material master which is very very important which is applicable to all the modules here we will be discussing basic views purchasing view four views in mrp 
plant store location views, quality management view, and accounting and costing views. Understanding the views and also the different fields in Metal Master is very important for the metal uh, management consultants and also the end users. Because if we set the right parameters, 50% of the problem is resolved. Your things will going, it will go very smooth. And then we'll discuss the next master data, bill of material and production version. Many people may think bill of material and production version or job of production planning. Because why we are introducing BOM and production version is here. Here is that uh, for subcontracting process, we need to define bill of material. So MM consultants and users should know what is bill of material. Also, the production version is made mandatory for uh, subcontracting process also. So it is important to understand production version. And then we'll be moving to purchasing specific master data like a business partners, purchasing info record and a source list. And then we'll discuss on demand management and materials requirement planning also, MRP. Why MM people should understand this? Because any requirements coming for procurement, like a purchasing or anything, they're all coming from demand requirement and the demand requirement is converted into the purchasing requirement based on MRP only. So MM users and consultants should have a clear idea on how MRP is working. That is why we are introducing demand management MRP in this course. Next is the regular purchasing process where how purchase request is created both manually and from system. Then how purchase orders are created manually, how they are converted from purchase request. We will, then we will move to other purchasing types like subcontracting, external operations, handling scheduling agreement and the how to do interplant transfer. And then we will discuss inventory management, how to handle goods receipt, how to handle goods issue, how to handle the physical stock verification. And then we will be discussing standard configuration that in SAP metals management, what are all the standard configurations available. We'll also discuss the other topics. I mean, the, I will introduce some other videos depends on the requirements raised by users in the comment section of our videos or if I see something interesting which can be added to this course like this, I will add. For example, I completed SAP production planning course, but recently I learned about variant configuration. So I am going to introduce that session in the production planning course. Like that, we'll be keep adding whenever there is a new things are coming up or whenever users are asking something new. Now we will discuss who can benefit from this course and how they can utilize this course. First, the people without SAP exposure. So people without SAP exposure, I suggest you get on SAP IDES, okay? And go through the SAP introduction uh, playlist, what was uh, given in another playlist in our uh, channel itself. Also practice all the transaction taught in this course, just the transactions, okay? So that you get yourself familiarized with the transactions, okay? That is sufficient. For people with SAP exposure as end users and also the like a junior abacus, they can install SAP IDAS system and practice all the transactions taught here and go through the configuration settings, understand the configuration settings and don't do any change in the configuration settings. Instead of that, practice the different scenarios by varying the inputs in the master data, right? Just to change the master data, then understand how system is behaving in different way. For example, for different MRP type, for different uh, stock, for different uh, uh, purchase request, manually creation, auto out converted, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, from a purchase request to purchase order, different reports, those things. For people with the SAP exposure as a power user, and also like a um, middle experience abapers or senior abapers, please install SAP IDS and uh, practice all the transactions go through the configuration settings, understand the settings in configuration, study each data in master data. That's very important because there are multiple options available in master data itself. And more than that, a lot of options available in configuration. So if you want to become expert in the field of this SAP, you need to understand impact of each field in the master data and in the configuration. So please practice them and also 
try with the different scenarios by varying the inputs and also practice different scenarios by slight changes in the standard configuration. For SAP production planning con consultants, sorry, materials management consultants, go through the practical explanations, understand how to link the business requirement to SAP settings. This is what many of the business users or the SAP end users, you know, the companies, they feel that SAP consultants do not understand our process. SAP consultants do not understand our pain. That is a complaint I'm hearing whenever I go and meet for any SAP corporate training or when I go for any SAP supply chain consulting, there I am hearing it. So try more by exploring various options in the master and configuration. Try to link them with the business processes. This is very important for the SAP consultants, uh, sorry, SAP consultants. As I told you, you should accelerate your learning, not just by learning here, but you have to practice them. To practice them, get the IDA system and build a business case, right? Again, like with the taking example of uh, like a gearbox or a car, whatever the business case you take it, create a complete mass data and to start transactions in the systems. Because the success of becoming SAP consultant or a good user is practice, practice, practice. For any clarification, just type in your query, doubt, anything in Google, and you will get instant answers. There are many options which are available. Also, please uh, write your queries in the comment section of our channel, where we will try to answer your queries whenever I see them immediately. And uh, some of the useful references are like www.answers.sap.com or www.help.sap.com. So in this session, we discussed what is the purpose of SAP S4 HANA MM course and uh, introduction of a course facilitator, course content and the flow of the course, audience and how to accelerate your learning. Once again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your great support extended for the SAP production planning course. After completing the overview of this MM course, we will start the course with introduction to ERP SAP from next session. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents. Also, please subscribe to our channel so that you will get noticed whenever we publish the new contents. Thank you all. See you in the next session. Bye.